Just buy some of these, they're oh. great. What was that? I, te <laughs> I, tell you, I tell you what that was, Mr. Pete. I was just going to get my hearing back here. Sorry? I tell you what that was. Yeah. That is the difference between when we talk about playing through modelers or plugins uh, or little practice yeah. amplifiers that sound amazing when you, you know, that's that's the, the sound. difference. I, I kid you not, that is epic. But more epic than I ever thought that would be when I thought we'd start doing this jam. Little 20 watt, um, these are Marshall SV20s. Okay, so you've seen these before. We use one in the studio quite a lot, little head here. Head. Combo version of that. Little 10 inch speaker inside yeah. it. Celestium V type 10 inch yeah. speaker. Um, cranked, I mean, pretty loud, right? I, I, I didn't have any, I've got my pedal board plugged in. I didn't even bother switching a pedal on. I think that's when you know. I know you had some yeah, pedals. I, I, was, I was just clicking but everything over here. Man I'm, alive, I got, yeah. that, is a, that is a sound. But so, that uh, is so, a sound. Yes, welcome back here to Anderson TV. Oh, I'm oh. Pete, and uh, this is Lovely Lee. The Lovely Lee, that's the new name. Should be the captain is gone. Lee. Now it's Lovely Lee. And uh, please like and subscribe from. so you can win some stuff. Yeah. These, yeah. Every time we plug into these things, whether it be the head or the combos or whatever, it's just like you just Marshall nailed that series, didn't they? That 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 the studio the studio rate. Is, well, this is it's sort of. It's a three, they, isn't there? A four. A I three or four. I have a sort of recurring cr criticism oh. of, of Marshall amplifiers. Yeah. And maybe it's not a criticism. Maybe it's actually. Maybe I should actually say fair play to them. Marshall have never, in my opinion, gone. You know what? We should really modify these amplifiers so they sound a bit better for people that just want to play at home. Yeah. Or wants to sound. Yeah. yeah they just weird. literally go. No. Yeah. You turn it up. You go to a gig. You stick it down. You turn it up. You play the gig. Yeah. And that's the sound. Like, no master volume here, my friend. It's just going to be loud. Yeah. You know? I mean, well, that's what, then, you, then you get the Friedmans, don't you? If you don't, if you don't want that, I think they, that's where Friedman, I think, have, have done a brilliant job, yes. which is going. Or, of course, if you do want that sound, but you want it at a slightly more controllable level or you want it at yeah, a yeah, slightly yeah. smaller box, whatever. But old school, I mean, we, we just, oh, to be honest with you, I don't oh. really know that this is even really a, a sound that... I, I'm on low. Were you on high? I'm no, on, I was I on was low on... as well. I mean, but we had this sort of... Stank face all the way through. I mean, through. that's the opening call. I, I, you know, for someone of my age who kind of, you know, was w when Wait Oasis up. and Blur kind of hit the scene in the 90s and everything like that. Yeah. And you heard that, some of those opening kind of chords to, I don't know, Don't Look Back in Anger is, is you know, and it's like, it was Amazon. such a throwback to just big guitar sounds, but not widdly big guitar sounds, just like big power rocky it's the chord that just fills you up yes. with joy and excitement um and, and other I'd, things anyway so that right why are we doing Angst. this video okay so we have Anger. simply done this video because marshall have a thing called design store it's where you can take any of the products that they make in the uk so that would be um the studio series yeah. the jvm series some of the ham wire Jace, series all big, that kind the of stuff, stuff. Yeah, 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 jcm yeah, yeah. 800 not dsl or origin or mg or anything cold. like that no just the uk stuff and you've got a whole gamut, if that is such Gamay. a word, of options to change the uh, colour of the vinyl, change the uh, designs that are on the grill cloth, decide what era badge you want on yep. the front. And it's not that much more expensive no. than just having the normal um, it's a la carte. classic. Sometimes Marshall do their own design store things and then put them out there, which is what these are. So M Marshall have obviously done a, a bit of a nod back to... Um, 1962, I would think. Uh, and it, but it's obviously um, these are called the Target series. They've used that sort of RAF slash mod kind of uh, vibe. So the SV20 mm. is from the Studio series. So it's a 20 watt version. It's inspired by uh, the sort of JTM era Marshall amplifiers. So going through from sort of 60s through early 70s kind of vibe. Um, very much around uh, distortion through a power amp distortion mm. as well as preamp distortion. Quite loud, 
uh, and no master volume, so sort of not really terribly controllable unless you've got uh, some sort of power soak, which we do use Bouchera, in this one here somebody in calls the it studio. It yes, Bouchera. Bouchera. Um, uh, it has two modes of operation, high and low mode, and it has two channels, but not switchable channels. So we're using the... Operandi. Um, we're using the sort of the trick of jumping the, the two channels together. Am I so, doing that correctly here? Yeah. Because I'm jumping that into that. Should I then be plugged into that? It doesn't matter which way around you do it. I can jump in whichever you way I jump like. Whichever way you like. Yeah. So Pete's got any reverb that you're hearing and stuff like that is coming from pedals. Yeah. We've got, we've elected to plug into the front end with everything today. One of the cool things about the SV20 and the, in fact, the whole studio series is they have put effects loops on them as well. So you could <gasps> run your reverb through the loop if you wanted, but mm -hmm. we're going old school. Yeah, I've got a flint here, which has got a good, it's a good reverb to put in the front of stuff because it just makes it nice. Um, uh, do you want some calls yeah, or something? Do, and show, let's show how we go, you know, the. Clean is volume down, right? There's, I not, think there's not really a way to set the amp up with a good tone without an element of gain if you've got the volume all the way up on your guitar. Exactly, and it is, I, I've got the bass all the way up on this yeah. time. And that's the cleanest I can get it. It's kind of clean, but my God, it's spiky, and I'm on the neck pickup on this, uh, on this Harmony Silhouette. Silhouette. That's mini, that's mini humbuckers, right? Underneath. Yeah. No pedals. I mean, it's just magnificent it's funny thing, you, isn't it? You've got the bass cranked all the way up. I've yeah. got the bass at halfway, and I think the guitar, this guitar with the bass, like a lot of bass inherently in the guitar, yes. kind of, and particularly perhaps with a bit more volume, doesn't really. It I, does work. That's what I was saying about Marshall amplifiers. Then. They, you have to twig leak. They, they, no, you just put them on stage and you turn them up loud and then they work. But it's not everything at 12. It's not an everything at 12 amp, is it, a Marshall? I never really had that. If I put everything at 12 with this one. Uh, particularly with the, the volume, presence. though. Volume as well. I bet it sounds fine. That's in the low mode, actually. I take that all it back. It sounds fine. High mode. I love it. But I do I understand. I do understand that it's not really a home usable amp unless you have something like a bougier. Yeah. Uh, but my God, it sounds Although great. Although again, we've been it plug so we've been plugging this video like crazy recently. If you want your <laughs> dream valve amplifier at home, it can be done. You just have to go and watch the video up in the corner or if it's not displaying up there, look below. But there is a video we did recently about uh, using your dream valve amp at home um, at incredibly low When volumes. you finally make sure, you, when you finally can but afford that, you your You could do it with amp. this because the speaker is detachable from the, the, yeah. uh, the amplifier. What's in here then, a 12 inch? No, a 10. 10. A, a Marshall ah. Celestian V-type. Not a Marshall, sorry, a Celestian V-type. A Marshall type. Celestian yeah. V-type. Okay, I'm surprised to that, but, I, but that makes sense to me I that it doesn't have that much low end. presence off. Try a bit of a halcyon uh, just on the top of it just to give it a little kick. I'm surprised how well it took that fallout cloud first.
Do you know what's a bit weird in here as well? I'm looking at the decibel meter. Maybe no, it's to do it's with the, the slightly smaller speaker or its position relative to the decibel meter. Mm -hmm. It's not spiking the, the decibel meter mm -hmm. as loud as... Like, it sounds louder than maybe it really is. It's a spiky sound, isn't it, that, for that, from that trend? It's, it's rarely going over 100 dB. Yeah, it cuts in the face, it just, Yeah, it? I think it's just, it's just got a sound oh, that man, will they, work in a mix. That's just the the flint and the lex. It's a great little amp. Great little it is. amp. Uh, uh, there, uh, wow. um, again, I've got these on a bit of a deal at the moment. Mm. I think the, the, the regular ticket price for these amplifiers is eleven forty nine. I think. Okay. We've got uh, a small number of these to sell at eight ninety nine. Okay. Uh, That's a good deal. I think the regular black ones are round about the thousand pound mark. If you're, you know, if if you love the amplifier but you want to retain the classic yeah. livery, is that the right word? I think it is. Or if you have one and you um, want another one to run them stereo. Can you imagine that in two? Yeah, that would be epic, wouldn't it? Oh, could you imagine? In stereo. That's cool. Yeah. Have you got stereo out there? I have got a stereo everywhere. <laughs> just is so reminiscent of listening to like an old Blues Breakers album or yeah, something, that, you know, cuts and playing. And so all the reverbs coming from the venue yeah. it's, or the room, the, and it's just that, you can just tell it's blooming loud. It was, and it's that, these, uh, you know, the little berry was in here. That's such a, which I've played ages ago, but now sort of. Oh, nice, man. Heck, man. It's nice, it's nice, it's very nice. Well, there you go. So, um. Yeah, we should play out. I want to play some yeah, more. Yeah, give us my pink cable back then. So oh. that's it. So if you are if you really, really like the look of these, um. Oh, let's just plug myself back in. If you really, really like the look of these, grab a, a tar. These, I think it's called the Target Finish, but it's essentially an SV20C. I like this one. Uh, yeah, I don't mind actually at the two. The white does look cool, doesn't it? Yeah, white um, arms are cool, man. Maybe you want something for your studio, you want something for your band. I would probably suggest don't have something for your home. Um, Why? But then again, if you've got 
you know, an ox box or the or the Bugera. Yeah, or, but what if you don't whatever. like your family and you just want to piss them off a little bit? Then you just buy <laughs> buy one. And then yeah, just maybe turn you live on a farm with no neighbours. In which case, knock yourself out. But yeah, let's uh, let's jam out. Why not? Links below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe because you can win stuff, and we are fun to watch. <laughs> Thank you.